Dear students, I welcome all of you in the another session of Traffic Engineering and Management. So up till now we have discussed various modules. We have mostly covered the topics from module number one to module number eight. Now we are beginning with the last module and then we will be covering about the third module. So we have learned that Traffic Engineering and Management has been divided into number of parts such as various kind of studies then signal designing intersection and we have learned all the things about that so i welcome all of you once again this is the new module and the name of this module is highway capacity so stay focused uh, towards this particular what we are going to cover in this particular session is uh, we are going to discuss about the important things that are related with this particular highway capacity <coughs> so that will be highway capacity part one okay the first thing that we are going to discuss is about certain important definition and first is about the capacity that what is the meaning of capacity so uh, what is the meaning of capacity capacity is defined as the maximum number of vehicle passengers or like anything per unit time which can be accommodated under the given condition under a reasonable expectation of the occurrence so this is the meaning of capacity capacity means the maximum number of vehicles or pedestrian per unit time which can be accommodated under the given condition with the reasonable expectation of the occurrence that is called as capacity now the next definition is about highway capacity but because uh, before learning that we need to discuss certain important things such as capacity does not depend on the demand so it is basically independent of the demand it does not depend on total number of vehicle but it depends upon the total number of vehicle demanding the service on the other hand it also depends upon certain kind of traffic conditions geometric design of the road for example, if a curved road is there, then it will be having lesser capacity as compared to the straight road. Because in case of the curved road, you will have to be more cautious whenever you are driving a vehicle and at that time, not more number of vehicles will be taking that kind of uh, risk factor. So this is what about capacity is. Now this capacity is expressed in terms of unit of some specific thing, such as in terms of car or in terms of people this kind of things so it does not depend on the traffic composition but it does depend upon the traffic condition and in addition it also depends upon the environmental conditions too because we all know that if the weather condition is quite bad then it will be difficult for us to drive any kind of vehicle on the surface of the road capacity is a probabilistic measure and it varies with respect to the time and position hence it is not always possible to completely derive the analytically the form of capacity because it is variable and in most of the cases it is obtained through the help of field observation. So what we have learned in this slide is that capacity is defined as the maximum number of vehicle or passengers per unit time which can be accommodated under given conditions with the reasonable expectation of the occurrence. It is independent of the time. It depends upon the environmental condition, traffic composition and uh, it is the probabilistic measure and there is no fixed analytical thing through which it can be and uh, it can be established for all the scenario. It depends upon the field observation that has been made by the engineers. Now second definition is about the highway capacity. See, highway capacity is defined by the highway capacity manual and it is the maximum hourly rate at which persons or vehicles can be reasonably expected to traverse through the particular point or uniform segment of the lane or the roadway during the given time period under the prevailing roadway conditions. Let me repeat it once again that highway capacity is the capacity is defined by the defined by the HCM that is called as highway capacity manual. What is the exact definition of highway capacity manual? So let me tell you that it is the maximum hourly rate at which persons or vehicle 
can be reasonably expected to traverse a particular point or form a uniform segment of the lane or a roadway during the given time period under the prevailing roadway conditions of the traffic and control situations. So this is about the highway capacity and it depends upon certain conditions such as first of all the highway capacity is dependent upon the traffic condition. Now the traffic condition, what is the meaning of this traffic condition? So it refers to the composition of traffic in the road such as mixed traffic condition, heterogeneous traffic condition, number of times it can be the combination of cars, trucks, buses in the each stream of the particular road lanes. It also includes various, various kind of peaking characteristics, proportioning of the turning moment at the intersection and likewise things. So this is the first, first phenomenon that is traffic condition. Now apart from this, it also depends upon the roadway characteristics that what is the geometric characteristic of the road, what is the width of the lane, what is the shoulder width, what is the lane width, what kind of alignment either in form of horizontal or vertical is being provided. Then it also depends upon certain control conditions and this primarily applies to the surface facility that refers to the signals that are being provided at the intersection. Now another definition is about uh, basic capacity but this is the part of various types of capacity. So first capacity that we are going to learn is about basic capacity. Now what is this basic capacity? Basic capacity is the maximum volume of vehicles per hour that can pass the certain point or section of the road in the given time under the ideal condition. See this is the ideal condition that is being provided where the ideal road condition is assumed and most ideal traffic and control situations are also assumed. So basically basic capacity is the representation of the ideal condition that cannot be uh, in the existence in the practical scenario. It assumes that all the vehicles are traveling at the same speed that can never happen on the road surface and at the minimum spacing is allowed. Now the second definition of the second type of capacity is about the possible capacity. It is defined as the maximum volume of vehicles that can pass the given section during the given period of time under the most frequent roadway condition or traffic or control condition. So this is basically the practical situation. Now the third type is about practical or design capacity. Capacity without which the traffic density being so great as to cause the unreasonable delay, hazard or restriction to the driver under the prevailing condition is called as design capacity. So basically this is the maximum capacity that is being assumed. Now this section discuss about the importance of highway capacity in terms of highway transportation studies. So first point is that the capacity of highway should be so adequate that it should serve the needs of the projected traffic means the future traffic. The design of a highway facility is possible only when the capacity is related to the projected requirement of the traffic. The class of highway, lane width, number of lanes and intersections are independent and they are basically assumed to be dependent on the particular capacity. The improvements on the geometric elements, traffic control devices such as traffic signs, signals and markings traffic management measures can be effectively planned based on the studies of highway capacity. And the fourth point is that the adequacy of the existing highway network for the existing traffic volume can only be assessed and analyzed by the values of capacity studies and the transportation planning can be done effectively using this information only. So uh, this, uh, all these things were the part of importance of the highway capacity. Let us discuss about the remaining important definition. First is called as AADT, the full form of AADT is annual average daily traffic. So as the name suggests, it is the annual average daily traffic when the measurements are taken for the entire period of one year. If it is leap year, then it will be taken as 366 days and if it is one year, then it will be taken as 365 days of the year and the average will be calculated. Then comes the average daily traffic. If you remove the word this annual, then it will become as average daily traffic. So basically, <coughs> it is the average daily traffic when measurements are taken for a few days, which is less than a year or such as month and weeks. 
and they are averaged by the number of days for which the measurements have been taken. So this is called as average daily traffic. Then the third definition is about, about capacity that we have already learned. Fourth is about basic capacity that we have already discussed. Then this is the adjusted capacity definition. What is the meaning of adjusted capacity? So as it has been written in the slide that it is the maximum number of vehicle that can pass the given point on the roadway or a lane during the period of one year, one hour and under the prevailing road and traffic condition. And it can be only obtained by adjusting the basic capacity to the roadway condition at the site. So that is called as adjusted capacity that can be obtained with the help of adjustment of the basic capacity. Then the next definition is called as DHV that stands for design hourly volume. It is usually the 30th highest hourly volume that is called a 30 HHV which is having the chances of being exceeded only 29 times in a particular year. Then the definition is called as DSV that stands for design service volume. It is defined as the maximum service volume at which the vehicles can reasonably be expected to traverse a point during one hour under the prevailing condition while the maintained design level of service is there. So if we are considering all the capacity situation with the consideration of the level of service, then that, that will be about design service volume or DSV. Now another definition is called as space mean method or space mean speed sometimes it is called as. So it is basically the mean speed of the vehicle in the traffic stream at any instant of the time over the certain length of the road. So what I am trying to explain over here is it is the average speed based on the average travel of the vehicle that can be traversed over the known segment of the roadway and generally it is slightly lesser than the time mean speed. So space mean speed or space mean method is quite lesser than time mean speed. So this was all about this discussion, this session's discussion. We'll be discussing about we'll be discussing about the remaining things in the next session. Thank you.